Hello there, Drats Mogwai here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for you guys today in what is going to be probably the shortest deck tech I've done in a long time since we are playing none other than Lurk, the most complex deck in the entire game, as we are going to be showcasing Pike and Rek'Sai in pretty much the most auto-build archetype within Legends of Runeterra. And the reason why we're doing this is because, you know, sometimes I like to take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I spend some time deck building and you know other days I'm like you know what today I could recharge a little bit and just play something that's a little bit easier to make and uh, though today's one of those days I guess as we do have a good reason to play Lurk though we have a new card that was released with the expansion that supports the archetype in Blood in the Water aka Bilgewater Shampoo as I like to call it because it is basically a very similar version to Shampoo which is a card in Noxus that you probably don't know about but it actually exists and this card is arguably, I, I said initially that it's actually worse than Shampoo because it does deal less damage, but the fact that you can deal damage to the opposing Nexus makes me change my mind. I think this card is actually a better version of Shampoo. Blood of the Water is a 5 mana slow speed spell that lurks as well. Very important, when you're building Lurk, you want Lurk cards generally, that deals 1 to anything and then rally. How good is this card for the Lurk archetype? In my opinion, is extremely good. Uh, incorporating rally onto Lurk in a deck that essentially just is all about attacking is very neat keep in mind you can only trigger lurk once per turn so even if you've or if you already triggered lurk once and you rally then you're not going to be doing that again otherwise you know that'd be a little bit crazy but what a lot of people don't know is that rexai her ability when she's on the board does not have a limit per turn it says when i lurk or attack Meaning that if you rally with Rek'Sai and you attack two times with her, you're going to be getting another plus one boost the second attack as well. Which is pretty damn relevant when you're starting to incorporate your overwhelmed late game lurks into the mix. As we have what is essentially a pretty uh, straightforward version of the deck. Um, this is my... I, I didn't really look into any other version. I just kind of like built it from the scratch myself. Uh, I, I'm going more of a mid-range route. As you guys can see, like I'm running a full set of the Surside Dune Breaker. We have uh, Surge the Wrath, which benefits really significantly English from Blood in the Water. Because when you attack, you preserve the Spell Shield and all of these things. But especially the Spell Shield the entire round. So it's not one of those effects that goes off when you stop attacking. Like for example, Sivir, right? Giving her uh, keywords to other units. Cersoreth, let's call him the, the Under Titan because I've probably butchered that in like seven different ways. The Under Titan preserves the Spell Shield, which is really important because when you go for the Rally effect, having him on the board can be extremely menacing for the opponent as uh, once the Spell Shield is on, they can have, you know, even if they let the attack go through, they need uh, at least two resources to uh, deal with them. And it's a very, very neat combo in that regard. I like a one-off of Jawfish, very strong card. I don't really play more because uh, you're generally gonna be generating this through the likes of uh, Rek'Sai leveling up or through the call in the pack. So I think uh, as a one-off is more than enough. When it comes to my non-Lurk cards, which is probably the more interesting aspect of this deck tech, uh, we are running four in total. We have one Treasure Seeker, just to have a total of seven one-drops. I don't feel like more is necessary. You just hard mulligan for them, especially if you have the attack limit token on one. We have a couple of copies of Aspiring Chronomancer to help us predict into our key Lurks, preferably our champions. Uh, when we attack with them uh, alongside our full set of the Surside Caller and a one-off of Rite of Negation because Rite of Negation is really good right now. It's generally good to have a deny, but more so than ever, this card is really neat and uh, that's why we have it right here. Even though we have 36 Lurk cards and four non-Lurk cards, sometimes you miss Lurk, so be prepared for that. <laughs> like, it still happens. But yeah, that's essentially all there is to it. Like, this is uh, an archetype that's been around for a while. It's, uh, you know, it's very Timmy. It's, a, it's one of those Timmy decks for uh, Legend of Runeterra. It's pretty, pretty straightforward and uh, fun to play nonetheless. Like, the, you know, I, I like to joke uh, around a lot with Lurk. You know, but in reality, like, it, it is a fun deck to play. And uh, definitely a deck that if you have any friends getting into the game, or if you're new to the game yourselves, definitely a high recommendation 
uh, from you know, from me and from anybody really. Like it really is a very intuitive archetype that feels satisfying to play, and it teaches you the mechanics of the game and does have nuance to it. Believe it or not, like it's it's not as straightforward as it seems, especially when you're incorporating uh, this card in the mix. Like knowing when to go for the rally. Uh, can be easier than done, especially in matchups in which you can run into either stuff like deny or run negation, or generally have good amounts of disruption. And that's all I gotta say. Also, blood bait, really, really key card that uh, is not as easy to play as as one would think. Uh, generally, you want to wait for having a rexi on top. You know, so when you attack, don't take that out of context. Uh, you trigger her and then you play the blood bait so that you can uh, draw into a snap jaw swarm and you can set up an attack and trigger Rek'Sai again. So yeah, that's a little bit of a tip that's been around for a while, but you know, just just kind of like actually actually talked about this deck for like over five minutes. Like that is way more than I expected. I, I wow, wow, I, I am rambly as hell, aren't I? <laughs> Out of stop. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the games. Have a slow day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. Today's a good day to shut my brain off, baby. Let's do this. I think I want to keep the right of negation, actually. It can be very important to uh, to counter something like a Will of Ionia or a Stun. And having it in the hand also enhances our chances of getting the Lurk. We also have Aspiring Chronomancer. I don't know about Rally so early on. I think we can mulligan this away. I mean, it's also a good tool to have, to be honest. But I also feel like I, I do want to enhance my chances of finding a one-drop here. Surge Sight Caller is pretty alright, but I think I'm actually going to mulligan away either two, because I, I want to find the one drop, and I don't have the attack token on three, so... I mean, we ended up in a worse position, but what are you going to do? We got the Aspiring Chronomancer, though. We got all the rallies in the world as well. We're sure to save see Rek'Sai. We do what we gotta do. And now we can call the pack into Snapjaw Swarm. That sparkles with me. Sparkles with me. Without a sound. that into that. It's not safe. All right, we're in quite the race here. Well, I'm good. I'm good at this game, obviously. Woo! All right, we had we had the red negation just in case. A stun is very likely here, but that's what we're gonna try to write. Let's we play you. We gotta try to they could have a deny, but if they had a deny, they would have gone for it earlier, I think. So as they go for a stun here, we're gonna try to deny it back, and if, if we get to go through, oh, 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 you're gone. Oh, you're done. You're done. You are done, sir. 
Dunzo. With the rally effect? Oh my god. <laughs> nice. I'm not afraid. Oh, you should be. You should be. Do we really care? We, we don't. We actually don't care. <laughs> Does Rex have a voice? No? Alright, emote session. I forgot again. Um, I don't think there's a Rek'Sai emote. I, we do know that there's a Pike one. Obviously, that, that is an auto-include whenever there's a champion. We include it. Now, let's see if there's any other emotes that can reflect this. Do we have any sharks or any any water creatures? I mean, for now, I, li I like the... If I'm going bilge water, like, this is our saluting emote. I also like this GG one here. What else? Like, we're, we're lurk players, right? We're, we're pretty basic. So when we get mad, this can reflect us pretty well, yeah. This is for when we miss Lurk. This is for Solution. This is, uh, I mean, I've been using the Caitlyn one a lot. We can replace that for something else. This one is extremely fitting for what we're doing. <laughs> Embracing the hypocrisy. Yeah, this, this feels, this feels pr pretty adequate. All right, round two. All right, Pantheon. Well, we know what we need. Redfin Hammer Snout is nice. I mean, Rek'Sai into that. I, I like the Rally effect as well. We're not attacking first, so we don't need that as much. So let's let's actually drop you. I mean, keeping the Rally effect could be important, but we want to have like an actual board first. One drop would have been nice here. Now we have Snapjaw Swarm with Call the Pack. Like you, you, you're never mulling it away. This and this. Skip here. Our ratio is so damn high. Our ratio is just so high that I don't even have to, I don't even consider it a risk. And I'm gonna do everything that I can so I can high roll. And the thing about this, like, this would be scary, but this is like, this is actually a deck that just, my, my power is so high that you're really gonna struggle, like, not dying to my trades. Alright. Like I'm 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 not that weak that you know Yeah Unless you got judgment You're dying
before they have judgment. Baggy, 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 though. Okay, no judgment. You're dead. Yeah, you can survive, that's fine. <laughs> you know, beating down Pantheon makes me feel not like I feel a little bit less degenerate, you know? It's nice. Alright. An undersea battle! Okay, we never we always keep Rek'Sai with Call of the Pack. Um, but I am going to mulling away these two because I do want to try to increase my chance of finding a one drop. We do not. Maybe I should have mulling a, a bit more aggressively, but I never want to say no to this. Oh man. Okay. Well. Give me the stuff. Stuff makes happy. Yeah, glad someone's happy because this stuff does not make me happy. That's for sure. Well, at least we got you. Okay. Fortunately, our chances of actually hitting a champion here are not great. I'm gonna skip because I don't really like any of these. Play Pike here. I want to force this Scarab to trade in, otherwise, they take a lot of damage. This open attack is the way to go. Could have a Yetison at this point. They could have a lot of things to trigger that. But I got, I got to deal with Maokai here. We blood in the water to clear this. So they very clearly have a Yetison. Or an undergrowth or something. Yeah.
so many names. Get it louder! Pie gets inside. I love another rally. Ooh! Or that. The water rises. Oh man, Nautilus is tough. But we're gonna feast on him, boys! <laughs> oh! That top deck, though! Oh, it was, that was that was like that was ultra Yu-Gi-Oh, dude! Oh my god, <laughs> definitely run Jawfish. Definitely play Jawfish. Okay, yesterday's deck. Probably not running the uh, the pillars though. Uh, let's keep you. Let's keep the Surfside Caller. Let's drop these two. All right. One drops, one drops, one drops. Yeah, this this is uh has to turn nothing trays into this. Hello, bird. For a second there, I thought I missed Lurk. I was like, what? Impossible! I actually wanna I could I could develop you. Yep. Because I'm gonna get like extra value out of this. Yep. You either have the plus one plus one, you let me get two free damage, or you miss out on the boost that could potentially help you level up your bard. But I, I believe that it's the correct play, yeah. Now, nothing like having the attack token on three with the Surfside Caller. Uh, I mean, that's really tempting with this, but no, we're going here. Cause I dream big, boy. Uh, I mean, these are okay, but none of them are spectacular. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna high roll. I'm gonna high roll. I believe. Today we turn the tide oh, that's okay, that's thick. Let's see what we got here. Sertatheth, Sersereth, the Titan. Oh, I won't either. Don't you worry about that. Ooh, sure. Thank you for the spell mana. I would have benefited from playing this uh, if, you know, because I, I would be able to play Sharkling this round as well. But I want to keep this as my last option. Just in case there's a better target, you know? But now I can use the Waking Sands. But I mean, I would have benefited from this, so. I didn't know I wasn't going to top deck a one drop, but. It is what it be. We're not actually going to make use of the, of the Sandstone Charger to trade into that. And we're going in. We just want to play simple Runeterra. I gotta admit, this is the best deck for that. <laughs> Meet them head on. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, all right. Bing. Down to three. Now these big fellas are really hard to stop. All right, let's get to work. Mm 
how about no? Well, I, I can wait on their, um, how powerful are you? Plus four lurk, so you have six power. I have a hard time believing there's anything that can... Okay, so seven. Yeah, you, you can survive now. Doesn't matter. We're too wide and too strong. And Pike did not make it to the ocean. All right, some timelines. I see the deck actually like ended up going with Caitlyn. I mean, Caitlyn's always a good option, right? But I think Nar is pretty underrated, to be honest. In my opinion, just saying this is neat, this is okay, but we want to find better going second cards because unfortunately, Caller is not all that amazing when you're going second. Thermo? No thermo. That's good. Because we want to lead off with an attack immediately, unless we top deck. No, okay. I want to hold on to Blood Bait for now. Now, remember when I said Surfside being not very good when going second? That changes when you have to call the pack in hand, because now now we have a really nice setup. We draw into Rek'Sai. You know, I like to joke around, like saying that this deck is just like absolutely mindless, but it, it actually isn't. Especially with, with cards like Blood Blade. Like there's there's setup to to work for. It's more mindless in regards to like deck building, even though there's different approaches at it. But I, I went I went with a full set of this because I feel like Rally has to be really strong. Ooh, you're vulnerable. Game. Okay. But now we draw into Rek'Sai, we call the pack, and then we set up the Blood Bait after that. And we're gonna be able to just get all this Rek'Sai value. It's gonna be glorious. So we get on top of this. Really great options here. They could have no, no. I don't want to play this because they could. They could have a. Um, they could have a a four drop. The uh, yeah, I, I know what I'm talking about. The uh, aloof travelers. Aloof travelers would actually counter this. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to this hammer now for when Trundle comes down. Could kill this. Do we really need to? Um, is that that big of a problem? Not really. set up this when they don't expect it I mean I kind of want to go with this now as well allows me to eat that up here 
Because we, we want to negate their ability to play Revna on curve here. So while Rek'Sai is tempting, Rek'Sai is very easy for them to stop. Like, I'd rather just... Yeah, okay. We, we definitely want to punish this. attack right there. That's a hit. It's getting pinged down. Alright. Well, that's not as much of a hit anymore. But still hit. Under Titan again. Not reveal my hammers now just yet. See what they got. As long as I have this this threat. Damage, but we are fine with this, sir. Ah, uh, you want to bait me? Not working though. I'm still, I'm still very healthy. Like I know I'm not going down to you like that. I can drag you because you are the thickest. Yeah. What did you discard? Wings of the Cryo Phoenix. Oh, that, that was made by Pharaohs. Okay. All right. We have a little ten mana. We go in. This is a good attack. Hmm. Problem is the the freezing. Because the thing is that now this thing has spell shield by attacking. So now the rally effect miss, not by a long shot. is very powerful. Representing lethal as of right now. Blood in the water. Unless they have um, that and an archer. Oh, no, no, no. That won't do it. That won't do it. Telling yourself in? You got an elixir of iron? No, we got him! With the other titan! Beautiful. That was clean. We need like a ah! 